Hi, I'm Alberta J here at Bergen, Fisker of Bergen in Paramus, New Jersey. Uh, we're here for the premiere of the Fisker Karma, a new car that's coming out in 2011. It's supposed to be an eco-friendly car that's actually a plug-in model. Uh, I'm here with Chris Kafer, one of the important people here at the Jaguar slash Fisker dealership. Can you tell me a little bit about the car? Sure. The uh, Fisker Karma is coming out early 2011. It's a 2011 model. It's the world's first plug-in luxury hybrid vehicle, which means you can charge up this car every evening and go for the first 50 miles completely gas-free. After those first 50 miles, you're going to get uh, an average mile per gallon of around 100 miles per gallon. Uh, the car is powered directly by two electric motors, has a 403 horsepower. There is actually no transmission in this car, one of the first of its kind, because it's powered completely by the two electric engines, two electric motors. There is a gas generator that actually supplies additional electricity once the battery pack is completed, depleted. But for the average American who uh, commutes about 30 miles a day round trip, for a lot of these people, they can actually use this car completely gas-free. Um, it, uh, it starts at around $88,000, typically equipped $96,000. It has about uh, 1,600 deposits so far in, uh, in, the, in the country. Uh, a lot of people have been putting down $5,000 deposits, anxiously awaiting this vehicle. Now, you, so you're saying if I, I were to work about 12 to 15 miles away from my home, sure. I plug this car in overnight, the next day when I get in, it's going to go up to 50 miles without using any gas. That's correct. And there's no, there's no worries after that 50 miles because then there's a gas generator that kicks in and supplies electricity that's needed. And then you can have a range of 300 miles. So for the average American who doesn't want to uh, press any crazy buttons or figure anything out, car just does everything on its own? Pretty much. You also have control um, of whether you want to use uh, some of the gas power to power the car or if you want to use completely battery power generation. But that first 50 miles is complete, can be completely gas-free. Uh, it takes about six to eight hours per evening to uh, recharge the car. That's if you have a typical electric power at your home. And the typical charge, depending on where you are in the country, uh, the average, I think, is 10 cents a kilowatt. would cost you about $2 per day to actually recharge the car. So you, you cost you about $2 a day to go 50 miles with the car, with the Fisker Karma. The other thing too is this is a high performance vehicle. Uh, you're going to go 0 to 60 in 6 seconds. It's 400 horsepower and the torque is, um, is completely driven right to the power, uh, to the wheels that power the car. There's no transmission to get in the way. So actually when you're going from that 0 to 60, you're going with absolutely zero shift points. It's just pure power. So theoretically, this car, if you were not never to drive more than 50 miles, you could actually never use any gas? You can actually uh, never use gas if you're not going to go more than 50 miles. That's correct. Yeah. That's interesting. And now, the, I noticed in the brochure, you have to hit a special button for the horsepower to kick in. It drives in a certain mode when you're just driving normally, and then you kick it into another gear? There's several different modes. Um, what they call stealth mode will be pure battery power. And it's actually completely silent as well, uh, which is a reason if, if you see the front of the car and the back of the car, they're actually developing a speaker system so that, so that the car actually has a sound to it. So if you're driving purely electric, which no hybrid on the road currently does, um, you'll, you'll actually need a sound just for safety purposes so that you can actually hear the car. So, uh, you know, the future of automobiles is the fact that it's going to be completely clean environmentally and actually produces no noise, which is actually a, a nice uh, a benefit as well. Um, the car it also has other eco-friendly attributes to it. Uh, the interior leather is um, all from cows that are uh, free-range cows, uh, grass-fed, um, and uh, the wood interiors are all from wood that have uh, fallen trees, so trees that have grown to maturity and have fallen down. Um, also wood that's gotten from the bottoms of lakes uh, in, in, in the U.S. Uh, and you have uh, those, some of those wood sources are actually over 100 years old. Uh, wood that's at the bottom of the lakes throughout the country from logging from the 1800s. 
Uh, and then other wood is actually sourced from uh, some of the natural fire, uh, forest fires in California. And uh, that's why you'll see inside this card, it's got incredible patina on the wood. All different uh, variations of color and uh, textures. And the, the hides inside are all hand done with uh, very little uh, pigmentation. Uh, so you get a very natural feel to the leather as well. And they also have, um, there's three different uh, additions to the Fisker Karma. There's the Echo Standard, uh, there's the Echo Sport, uh, and then there's the Echo uh, uh, Chic, which is completely animal free. And uh, some of the fibers that are going to be on the seats from that car is actually um, taken from bamboo. Uh, so there's, there's variations of this car. It's also uh, all aluminum. It's all aluminum body. Uh, the battery pack should last about 10 years, is what they're predicting, and can be changed out after those 10 years. So you're never stuck with a car uh, that can't be renewed as well. It's a very unique and nice car, from the cows to the trees to everything. Now, I read also that Fisker has designed a bunch of cars, from Aston Martin to uh, BMW Z8. Do you think there's a specific reason why he put his name on this car, or it's just that he was ready for this to happen? Well, actually, uh, Henrik Fisker visited us um, here about six months ago, and uh, he basically told us that he uh, wanted to develop a car that was truly, truly exciting, uh, eco-friendly, uh, and it's basically a whole new way of developing a car company. They are, this is a, Fisker is a California-based American car company. Um, however, a lot of the components are going to be outsourced, so they don't, they don't have a lot of the problems that a lot of the typical American manufacturers have. There aren't the legacy costs um, uh, of uh, employees from the past. They don't have uh, problems with um, putting everything under one roof. They've designed the car, engineered the car in California, and have outsourced actually even the manufacturing of the body. The, the car will be actually assembled in Finland, um, alongside the same uh, lines that produce the uh, Porsche Boxster, Porsche Cayman, and the uh, Porsche Cayenne. Um, so it's a, it's a whole new way of actually developing a car company. Well, Chris, thank you very much for your time. Sure, it's my a, pleasure. It's a beautiful car, and uh, hopefully we'll sell a few more than uh, you expected. Uh, we hope so. Thank you so All right. much. Thank you.